Hey guys, and welcome back to another week of Terra Caridian Encounters. How y'all doing? So good. Very grand, wonderful, awesome. Very good. It's been a uh, hell of a long time. Uh, what's it like? A little it's over been, a month? It's been so long, it looks like uh, Corwin's ceiling is falling apart. It's like getting <laughs> yeah. old and dilapidated now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, girl. So what's up? What's new? How you uh how y'all been? Oh, so good. So glad the holidays are over. Yeah. Yeah. Finally cleaned the house. Even though it doesn't look like it back here, but mm -hmm. the rest of the house is cleaner. It's because you watch that Netflix show. Tidying up with Marie Kondo. <laughs> no, I uh I watched Bird Box one too many times and uh this, this is what it looks like when I try to clean it up. Did you actually watch it more than once? Box. No. I watched it once, though. Like you said, one too many times? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's one, once is one too many times. Yeah. I mean, it was, a, it was a good movie. It was a, yeah, it was I. Uh, yeah. Getting together with family. Uh, we got together with Logan on mm -hmm. New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. Which That's was fun. Time. Um, I think a few of them may or may not have like drunkenly called you names and tried to get you to come over, Corwin. But like, you were probably yeah. hanging out with your family. Um, I was. We were gonna come over, and then we were like, "Do we really want to go across town when it's right. like the roads are ice?" Yeah, and there's drunk it was awful everywhere. trying to get to Nick's house in that weather. Halfway through, I was seriously <laughs> regretting it. I was like, "Why did I yeah. do this?" <laughs> I'm glad we didn't go because when we backed out of my grandma's house, her driveway's on a hill. My car just went. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! No, drive, drive back to my parents' house wasn't bad. So, I didn't feel like the roads were too bad when we left. No, the drive back actually wasn't nearly as bad. On the way yeah. in, though, it was mm -hmm. like storming, zero yeah. visibility. Everyone was driving like 40, 50 miles an hour. Yeah. Like scared out of their minds. No, oh, yeah, when I was driving there, yeah, like everybody was driving there. They're like, hey, I'm going to go 60 miles an hour. I have no place to be today. It's like, get off the road. Wow. Mm hmm. And then I very uh, soberly drove home, completely sober. Mm hmm. Um, Wait a minute, I only had like three drinks over the course of like eight hours. That was good. Right. Not a little more than three, but. Um, so is there anything else to talk about? Anything you guys want to discuss? Uh, anybody get any um, cool D&D related stuff for didn't I level Christmas? Up? Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa? Oh, yes, I did. I got these, uh, these new dice, these heavy ass fucking metal dice from Nick, which are really cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm like worried about. You know, like the... put some like, density. Averaging your table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I'm worried about the structure of my table when I roll this shit. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, like a steel, uh, Tungsten or something. Yeah, I think so. Um, but they're really cool. I've always and... wanted a pair of metal dice or mm -hmm. a set of metal dice. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and Fast Bear, you do level, um, as you may or may not be able to tell. On the homepage, I wrote it in big letters so I wouldn't forget um, because I didn't resolve it. So we have to do that. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and switch yourself to level seven. The experience is correct, the level and everything else is not. Uh, and let's get some music going. You didn't do any of the skills or anything? I didn't touch anything, just the experience. Okay. That's all right. I think level seven monks are pretty easy. Just like more key points, pretty much. Mm hmm. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Ooh, evasion and stillness of mind. I am going to AFK real quick while you do this. Let me go grab a drink. Uh huh. Evasion and stillness of mind. Huh? Yeah. You get one extra key point. Mm hmm. Just make sure you note that you're at seven key points now instead of six. Um, I will quick copy paste these abilities in your character sheet. Highly advise that you probably read over your abilities because <laughs> we've been out for over a month. It kind of goes for everybody. Yeah. Uh, so this is evasion. <coughs> Monk slash. Seven. Oh, you're, you're adding huh? more. Yeah, I'm just copy pasting it from uh, the rule twenty. Okay. Did you already do it? No, I, I didn't. Okay. Uh, so it was evasion and stillness of mind. Year. Uh, Starting at seventh level, you can use your action to end one effect on yourself that is causing you to be charmed or frightened. Okay. It's not a race, so we should sure it's a class, mom. Um, okay. Yeah, they're added. Um, if you want to move them to somewhere in the features and traits, other than where I put them, feel free, but uh, should be accurate. I haven't read an evasion yet. Uh, your instinctive agility lets you dodge out of the way of certain area effects, such as blue dragon's lightning. Oh, wow. When you are subjected to an effect that allows you to make a dex saving throw, you take only half damage, you instead take no damage if you succeed on the... Oh, this is like the rogue ability. That's really good. What was it? Evasion? Yeah. If uh, you get a dex saving throw against um, an ability, okay. say like fireball or something, um, yeah. if you pass, you just take no damage. And if you fail, you take half. Do I have? To, I don't even have to use a key point for that, do I? Does it say? No, you don't have to. Sweet. Is there a way we can, like, turn Corwin up or something? Because he's really quiet for me. Is that uh, better? That is much he better. He can turn himself up. <clears throat> yeah. I rearranged everything, so I'm not sitting as close as I used to be. Do you have, like, a blue Yeti or something that you're sitting away from, or what? Blue spaghetti. Blue spaghetti. Is that better? It's better, yeah. Is that, sweat? Is that better? Is that what you want? <laughs> no. No, that's not better. It's like those memes where it just. <laughs> just like all the feedback on the fucking planet. Okay. 
Um, Your enchiladas are I'm done. Come upstairs, fat ass. Swift Bear, I need you to roll me 1d8 plus your constitution modifier for hit points. 1d8. Yes, can. Oh god, it's been so long. Oh, how did I roll a d8? <laughs> Neat. You only have one con? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's distinctly average. Cool. Well, please add five hit points to your new total. Cool. Alright. That was my wife telling me, hey, you big fat dumb idiot. Dinner's ready. Alright, if you need to AFK, please, go ahead. Remove that fast bear levels. Um, while he's AFK, why don't you guys recap for us what happened well over a month ago? <gasps> <laughs> well, so there, we have a, there's a party of uh, four. <laughs> there's a warlock. Mm hmm. And a mm -hmm. monk. Uh, <laughs> and a uh, 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 rogue. <laughs> Nope, she's a wizard. She's just modeled after a rogue character. Mm -hmm. I know, it's weird. Um, and then Byron is a... Um, a fighter? <laughs> a biker? Yeah, Yeah, sure. a biker. Is it, Byron's a, a biker. biker. <laughs> yep. A multi-class biker fighter. <laughs> uh, okay, Sons of Anarchy is so... a character. Mm -hmm. Alright, you're gonna lose experience. So... <laughs> you were close to leveling, but... <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so actually, yeah. to the, to the uh, same place everywhere yeah, everyone really. else in the party is so uh, so yeah last session uh, I think the party mm -hmm. was re returning from the tomb of or the the, the labyrinth it was the first session no, out of that right I don't think so I don't, I'm not, I don't think that's it, what happened. Was there a whole Was there a whole extra session after that? I think there was. Oh yeah, because because we did the, so the party uh, came across a ghost battle of some Kiridai and some serpent people, mm -hmm. and uh, and then we finished that session, and then the next session we did. Um, where we had another session after that, rather. Um, yeah. Now, what happened in that session? <laughs> the name of the VOD was Snake City. Yeah. We found a Snake City. <laughs> and. Good guess. After scouting it out, uh, Clark turned slick invisible. She used her cloak of. Uh, no, she Clark made a uh, slick fly. Yeah. And she used her. Uh, cloak of uh, not being able to be seen very well because I'm camouflaged. Cloak you of you don't have a name for it because you never identified it. Yeah. You just have a best guess for what it is. Predator cloak mm -hmm. to stealth her way if above the city. Only we're here right now to make the noise. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would um, be awesome. I'm just trying to remember <laughs> if last session was a session. No, that yeah, that was a previous session where, where we fought. Uh, is it UNT? Is that what the snake people? We are? did fight UNT, but it was just a patrol, and that yeah, came right, right, okay. After we found the uh, dowsing rod, the Shit. rod of uh, what you call it, imp location. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Right. Uh yeah. And that thing. We met a, we met a guy. And he, in exchange for that rod, he gave us a uh, access to his pool of enchanting, and a uh, fast bear threw his clothes in. 
and was naked for a little while. But thankfully, the splooge was able to regurgitate his clothes back up with a plus one to uh, AC. And from there, we came across a UNT uh, patrol, wreck their asses, extract their poison, and uh, went back to the city. Mm -hmm. And what did you do in the city? Oh boy, what did we do in the city? Well, well we went to a magic help. shop. We did do that. So. Uh, Slick bought a, a couple of pearls, and we sold the access splooge from the imp, oh, uh, yeah. as well as a uh, potion as an anti venom for the UNT. I don't know what we exchanged it for, though. For what? I think we definitely got something out of it. I think it may have been like fifty gold, or yeah, it, it was. It wasn't much. She was not too keen on it. She's like, "Well, oh, did you?" Already, no, you already not like it wasn't the alchemist. It was a guy. How I got butt ass oh. naked and threw my clothes in the splooge. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Um. Wasn't it? No, I guess it was a guy, wasn't it? Cause they, but they weren't yeah. too keen on um, on the splooge. Like, well, maybe we'll like, try wow, something neat. with it. Why'd you give us this? Yeah, curves. Um, no, he he wasn't keen on buying it. Yeah, because he doesn't want to trample on the uh, herbalist's business or whatever the alchemist. Oh, business. really? Oh. Yeah. Um, he was like, eh, this isn't really my wheelhouse, but I'll buy it. Or whatever, or something like that. I forget. Did we? Did were we able to sell Byron's axe of the most awesome thing in the world? No, <laughs> or, or did Byron, Byron didn't want to get rid of it, right? Not just yet. We really should get rid of that. Mm -hmm. No, you definitely still have that. Um, and then yeah, and then Byron went to the. Like sheriff's office or whatever. It was mm -hmm. like, well, before that happened, Byron uh, subtly asked Clark, "Hey, like, we wouldn't happen to have any spells with components that uh, you're not telling us about? Just hypothetically, if we were to do something, something, what would you need?" And he said, "Like something along the lines of, if some, if you were to die, then I could use something from you or some blood." And then from there, mm -hmm. it somehow spun off to, like, we go to the prison and we take one of the uh, inmates oh, well, with say, us. You say we, but it was it was all Byron. Oh, you were there, I think. Clark was there. It was all Byron swinging his uh, influential dick all over the place, like, hey, I'm a lord, you should give me a, a guinea young pig. chap that you don't give a shit about that I can murder. Sweet young chap. <laughs> Give me some strapping young lad that's down in your uh, in a cell somewhere that's never coming out. I mean, like, well, we have this petty thief, and you're like, that'll do. All they Completely had was a petty voluntary. thief for you, and you were like, well, that'll do. That'll do nicely. We'll offer him a job. We gave him a good meal, and we put him in a room unsecured, even though I probably should have told Clark <laughs> to teleport out of the room and lock it or something. And uh, we woke is, up. Is he in there? Whatever happens. Is he in there completely unguarded? I mean, I mean, Clark. I mean, uh, I told uh, I told Clark like it's not a big deal. But if you have any ideas, then like you could try something. And then I don't think you actually like came up with anything because we've actually been playing for a while and we we're all kind of tired. Yeah. Didn't didn't you ask the innkeeper downstairs though, like to? To not let him leave if he tries to walk out, or to tell yeah. us if he tries to walk out, or something like that. Not like he yeah, can't jump like, out of a fucking window, but don't let our young ward wander outside of the hotel. Yeah. And then you looked at him and found out he was morbidly obese, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please don't eat him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you were like, well. Uh, just let us know if he tries to escape or something. 
Um, so yeah. Yep. So uh, negative five hundred experience to everybody for their awesome recap. You won't de level. Right. Uh, no, I need to look at what recap experience is. So. Everyone who is. Uh, wait, who are you guys? Seventh level or eighth level? I'm seven, seven six. Really? <clears throat> okay. If you're sixth level, you get nine hundred experience for the recap. If you're seventh okay. level, you get one thousand one hundred experience for the recap. No one's eighth level, right? Correct. Okay. You said 1,100? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I level. Cool. Unfortunately, we level at the end of the session. Uh, yeah. I believe I actually leveled two already. Uh, yeah, you were only like 200 experience away. Yeah. Because it's 34,000, right? It's, yep. Yep. So I leveled. <laughs> Rip. All right. Well... Um, I wrote a note for myself. Um, today is the 18th of Moon Harvest. You guys already got your HP back for the day, which is two, because you said you were going to sit around all day today to heal up. Um, so I'm going to hold you okay. to that. Um, I wrote that down. So and we get two fatigue points back too. Well, I assume I did it all that. No, before. it's always one no matter what. Okay. Um, but HP can be two if you're gonna sit around all day. Uh it can be also three if you're gonna, you know, get help from a herbalist or something. But uh anyway, so eighteenth of moon harvest today, you guys wake up. Um gosh, what was the name of that in where are we again? Are we in? We are in Port Sandscorn. Uh, just give me a second. I'm still trying to work my way back into this. So you are at the Drowsy Dryad. The freaking morbidly obese innkeeper's name is Patrick Bass. Patrick Bass. Uh, he's like a five foot nine guy, really, really large man with golden skin and a gapped set of front teeth. Um, and you paid him kindly for a couple of rooms, and you are now awake, each in your respectable quarters. Um, let's, let's get you guys over to the map page. There you are. And what do you do? Uh, check to see if all of our stuff is in the right place. Your stuff is exactly where you left it. Sweet. Including our Including the boy. Possess. Yeah. You barge into his room. Kick in the door. Off its hinges. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't doing anything. Do you really do that? Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, no, he's not in the room. Yeah, figures. Well. Um. So you guys are all upstairs. I, I assume that you've kind of gotten all together. Um, and you're now, I guess, standing in his doorway. Uh, and... He's not in there. I don't know if you gave him anything. Did you give him like any equipment at all? No, not yet. Okay. Well, the room is sparse. There's nothing like in here, really. I don't think he had much to begin with. So. Mm -hmm. Is the window open? No, it's not open. You just walked up the front. Uh, or he should you know. on his way out. I think we put like charcoal on like the window seal as like a fake magic ritual i think we probably check to see if like it's disturbed or something mm -hmm. like oh well, you obviously didn't fall for that but you know 
They investigate for the clues. I don't recall that. I remember you drew on his hand, but... Hmm. Looks fine to me, boys. Oh, uh, well, why don't we go ask the uh, innkeeper if, if he saw him leave or anything? <laughs> what could have been done? It's okay. Uh, give me perception checks. Mm, I don't know why I rolled twice. Surf Bear rolls two perception checks. Swift Bear, while they're inspecting the room like a bunch of clowns, you, your keen ears pick up the sound of uh, noise downstairs. It sounds like a crowd. I don't know. <clears throat> hey, uh, it sounds like there's a crowd downstairs. <laughs> it, there's some commotion going on. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, my mouth is very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> That's some spicy right, I guess we... this morning, apparently. <laughs> uh, well, I hope it's not what, what I think it is. So let's head on down there. I guess we investigate. Okay. You guys head downstairs. Uh, and you spy a commotion of distraught looking city folk congregating around a weary pair of individuals one of them is devouring a hefty plate of food um, and you spy your young thief amongst the crowd he's caught up in the commotion he sees you coming down the stairs what's going on here um who do you say that to? Just to the room. Just kind of uh, like. It, yeah, there's. It's kind of loud. Like there's people talking and, you know. Like they're around they, a group of people, like two different people, but like people are talking to each other. Some are talking to them. You know, like there's got to be like 15 people in this room. So it's, they're just kind of gathered around this eating contest? Something like that. All right, I pull the boy to me and I ask him, "What, what, are, what are we looking at?" Uh, seems like. Um, he shrugs. Hmm. He probably just got here. Like he does, he's trying to piece it together. I'm just gonna watch for a moment, see what's happening. Yeah, we watched for about ten minutes. You watch for ten minutes. Uh, I mean, you're you start to hear people talking about um about this guy. Apparently, his name is Jaren. Um. He was found out in the desert, half to half dead, uh, by this woman named Anara. She's apparently the one that's sitting with him. Um, he claims that he's from Sandstone. He's been babbling about dark tidings since he got here. A lot of people are worried, but some people are like, "Eh, he's probably just crazy." Uh, I mean, his son probably baked him. Who knows? Hmm. All the way from Sandstep, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna continue to listen to his, uh... To what, what people might be saying. Like, I wanna, like, get a good idea of what... Like, what he might have said, what people's thoughts are about what he said. Okay. Well, I mean, if you don't inquire, then you're just kinda hearing... Mm -hmm. What people are saying and that's basically what you get i mean okay. it's just people talking about what they now heard and then yeah. occasionally he says something and he's just like it's gone by the gods it's all gone and he's like starts to cry into his soup bowl okay. eventually the half elfin ranger says uh, all right i think jaren's had enough attention for one day 
Come on, son. Let me help you to your room. And she leads him upstairs. Shuffles uh, him down the hallway to a private room and makes her way back to the lobby of the inn. Um, at this point, the crowd is like starting to disperse, but people are still kind of talking about it. Like, well, hell, you, you don't think that sandstone really gone, is it? Like, nah, bunch of crazies. Well, I heard, I heard from the uh, old old Bobby that he ain't had a shipment of rice in two weeks. Ah, nah, it's nothing. Hey, Clark. You don't even think this happens to do with, uh... Let's, let's, let's go to our room and discuss this. Boy, you, um... Hang out with the short one. The green... Uh, the masked short one. For a while. He looks at her... Distrustfully, but doesn't say anything. Uh, yeah, we'll head upstairs. Um, the, the lady that he was with is uh, he's, back I mean, down. He's, he's in his room now. She took him up there. Yeah, yeah, but room. she came back down, right? She's back down. Um, she's having a quiet conversation <laughs> with the, the large innkeeper. Mm -hmm. Um, and it looks like she's exchanging some coin on, probably, in his behalf or something. Hmm. Uh, Let's go. Let's actually go take a table real quick, Byron, and uh, yeah, flag her down right. when she's not so busy. Okay, uh, I mean, doesn't take her long to finish her conversation. She looks like she's on her way out. Um, but you, f I guess, flag her down. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try to. Um, I'll get up. <clears throat> Like, if I see her headed for the door, he said she's probably on her way out, so... Mm -hmm. um, uh, let me... I'm sure I have a description of her um, okay. somewheres. Give me a second. Uh, she's a half-elf, uh, and she shares many similarities with both her human and elvish lineage... Uh, her ears are slightly bent, and her features are slender. She's wearing a green tunic with the embroideries of her station as a sandstone ranger. She has a long bow strapped to her back and two short swords strapped to her sides. Uh, she has uh, dark brown hair, green eyes, and um, yeah, pretty lithe figure. So uh, Before she heads to us, I lean over to Clark and say, is this the, uh, you don't think this is the same ranger you were uh, looking for before, the one that was heading towards the, uh, mountains, do you? That's a good point. Uh, she very well may be. Do you want to make a history it's... check to recall the information? Uh, yeah, both of us or just him? Or me? You can both make it. Uh, Lord Byron, you have your suspicions, but Clark, now that he's brought it up to you, you're mm -hmm. like, yeah, that is that is the person we were looking it's for. A description. Anara Half Elven, yeah. Come yeah. On. Half Elven Ranger, yeah. You're like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna stand up, like, when, when he says that and it clicks. Um, I'll stand up abruptly and kind of shuffle over to her. As she's headed for the door. Um, and, okay, so he yeah. flags her down. You stand up and start approaching her. Yeah, I guess so. And I, uh, I say her name like kind of in a, you know, like a whisper, but like loud enough somebody can hear it, like ten feet away. Nara, Nara, like trying to get her attention. <coughs> Nara raises an eyebrow yeah. at you and approaches. Uh. Ask her if she, yeah, would you be uh, would you be willing to take a seat and chat with me for a few minutes? Let's take a seat over there, right over there. Let's take a seat. Take a seat. So, what are you, so tell me, what are you doing here? Um, sorry, I uh, forgot to introduce myself. My name is. 
Clark Brandywood. I'm from Sandstone. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I was not expecting you to give your name. You gave your real name, though. Okay. Um, sh 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 let me see. Shit, did I have an Sorry. alias? Was I going by Drops an alias here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you haven't brought it up in weeks. Okay, uh, that's fine. Um, she looks at you. Fucking month off, it's going to kill me. <laughs> she looks at you with a different expression than the one that she had before, which was like distrust. And now she's looking at you like she knows you. Uh, she says, Clark Brandywood from Sandstone? <laughs> Realizing I made a grave mistake, I paused for a second. She yeah. says, "Yeah, will you take? Will you just? Yeah, I know you. Every ranger in Sandstone knows about you. <laughs> <laughs> Rich halfling throwing around money to put together a venture outside the military's uh, expeditionary jurisdiction. You're not exactly subtle, but uh, kind of looks to your companions." Then again, I don't reckon subtle's what you were going for. Wow. <laughs> exactly. He just licks his paw in the corner. Raises his eyebrow with the giant great axe as his back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, would, would you mind, uh... Would you mind chatting for a little bit with, with me about this? Because... She nods. Concerned about... What may have happened. Uh -huh. if, if what he's saying is true. So you guys uh, have like a private booth off to the side. Mm. Um, and, you know, the room is, there's still people in here, but it's starting to kind of fizzle, you know, fizzle out uh, because most of the people were ostensibly dragged in here out of interest from what was happening, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for, or like a word around town or something. Um, but yeah, so you guys are sitting down having a chat um she seems to be listening uh, she's waiting for you to start well uh like i said from you know i'm from uh sandstone so i have some interest in what theoretically has happened there can you tell me what he said this this man has said she shakes her head uh well it's my job to uh 